This week on Maker Update, the most controversial DIY project of the year, a desk fan that can see your face, glowing horns, animated knots, and a 3D printed boat battle. It's Wednesday, September 28th. I'm Donald Bell and welcome to Maker Update, episode four. We've got a lot packed into this one, so let's jump right into it. But first up, the project of the week. Over on Instructables, Devin L9 has a step-by-step -step for creating a small desk fan that stays pointed at you using face recognition software. The project uses a small computer fan, a servo to turn it, and a USB webcam connected to a Raspberry Pi computer board. The mechanics of the project seem relatively simple, and the code will introduce you to using Python and OpenCV. What's great about this project is that it opens the door to other face tracking projects like security cameras, telepresence robotics, and interactive art. And now for news. This story from MIT Review is actually about a week old, but I'm surprised it's not getting more attention from the maker community. Plus, I'm the boss of my own show, so I can talk about whatever I want. As a response to a significant increase in the price of auto-injecting epinephrine pens, or epipens, which have apparently swelled in price from $60 to $600 in just a few years, a group calling themselves Four Thieves Vinegar has published instructions on how to hack together your own auto injector using around $30 in medical supplies that are more typically used for diabetic injection. Now, I'm not endorsing or recommending this as a solution. Screwing this up could be a life or death situation for someone who suffers from extreme allergic reactions. That said, Anything seems better than not having the device at all, which is a real possibility at $600. So why am I talking about it here? Well, despite the fact that this falls outside the lines of your typical maker project, this may just be the most important and controversial DIY project of the year. And it's complicated because I can understand the case to be made that people should not ideally be hacking together medical devices. But then again, it's empowering to know that in times of crisis or greed or a zombie apocalypse, that we have the tools and knowledge to make the stuff we need. I feel like that's at the heart of what being a maker is all about. And to me, this story is absolutely one of ours. But let me know what you think, either on this video or on the Maker Project Lab page on Facebook. I think this is a fascinating peek into topics of intellectual property and medical hacking, these things that we kind of tiptoe around as makers. But I want to hear some other smart opinions about it, and you guys are smart people. All right, and now on to projects of less consequence. Over on Adafruit, the Ruiz brothers have a fun write-up on making our own 3D printed unicorn horn that lights up with an LED. Here you can see Noah rocking a version that's sewn onto his hoodie. The wiring is super easy. He got his running on a rechargeable battery pack, but I could also see this working with just a coin cell battery holder to keep things simple. You will also need a 3D printer, of course, and a needle and thread to sew it on. All right, now you guys might remember from last week, I was freaking out about Adafruit's little tiny Raspberry Pi arcade system. But check this out. I found this. This is the Tiny Circuits Tiny Arcade. It gives you everything you need to make one that's nearly as tiny, and I think it looks even cooler. This is not a paid endorsement, but I was able to get them to send me the kit. And if you want one too, they gave me a code for 10% off for you guys if you enter Maker Project Lab at checkout. That takes the price down from $60 to about $54 and comes with free shipping. Like I said, not a paid endorsement. I sought them out because I thought you might be into this after last week's show. I am looking forward to building this kit though and I'll post the results up soon on makerprojectlab.com. I came across two tips this week worth sharing. The first is a site called animatednots.com. As you can imagine, this site shows you a bunch of useful animations on how to tie a bunch of different knots. And I don't know if you'll ever need it, but it's one of those things where I could just kill half an hour watching these knots tie themselves. Over on Thingiverse, I came across a collection of 3D printable customized knobs and buttons. It sounds silly, but a cool knob can really be the perfect finishing touch on a project. Now you have a virtual bottomless drawer of knobs in every shape and color you can imagine. Contests! This past week, Instructables launched all of their Halloween contests. There are separate contests for food, costumes, decor, and props, and they all end one week after Halloween on November 7th. There are some great prizes, including an Oculus Rift. We also have the Moat Boat Paddle Battle this Sunday, October 2nd at World Maker Fair in New York. This is a fun, popular all-ages competition where racers bring their own 3D printed racing boats that are propelled by rubber bands. The winner goes home with a new 3D printer. 
Registration is free and you have to register if you want to participate. Finally, it's a huge weekend for maker fairs. There's World Maker Fair in New York, like I mentioned, but there's also 10 others, including Taiwan, Spain, Colombia, Greece, Austria, four in the US, including Riverside, Rockland, San Diego, and Decatur. And then there's the second Maker Fair in Berlin, which breaks my heart because I'm missing it this year, but old Donald's gotta stick around and figure out how to make some money. Speaking of which, you could really help me out by subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and by liking my Maker Project Lab page on Facebook. Eventually the goal is to bring some sponsors onto the show, I'll be honest, but I can't do that until I can prove to them that people are paying attention. All right, so like and subscribe on all the things for me and watch some other videos and share this with your maker friends. And that's it. All right, another show wrapped up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.